Hey folks, so in this video I wanted to talk about my overall philosophy and approach when it comes to chess improvement for virtually all levels. In essence, I basically believe that most aspects of chess improvement are either going to be knowledge-based or skill-based, meaning they're either based on your chess knowledge or your chess skill. So let me break this down a bit. Knowledge refers to things that you can concretely learn and remember, things like opening theory, theoretical endgame, specific endgame positions, middle game principles I would even include here, and even things like general wisdom, like a pawn is worth three tempi. Knowledge is something that can generally be applied in a lot of positions, and it has to be learned and I would say repeated, as we'll get into how to work on different parts of your game later on. But this knowledge has to be applied if you want to become truly a strong player. And this is where skill comes in, which to me basically involves any kind of calculation you would do at the board, evaluation, basically any kind of decision making that you do at a physical chess board, even things like positional judgment and planning. These are things that are more related to your actual skill and your ability as a chess player. So the distinction here is that skill is something that has to be trained and worked on consistently. It's not something you can just read a book about or watch a video about. You have to kind of train your skills on your own and try to improve by solving exercises or playing a lot of chess. I actually wrote a previous blog about this topic a couple of years ago, which I'll include a link to in the description below. In this video, I just kind of wanted to update and, and clarify my thoughts uh, on this subject. Uh, because I think what a lot of players will do is that they'll end up spending most of their time working on kind of one of these aspects and not the other. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of players here who are kind of focused on solving tactics and playing a lot of chess and they're not really doing a lot of reading or studying, reading books, watching videos, going through courses. They're kind of just focused on solving a lot of puzzles and playing a lot. And while I think that's really good for your chess, this type of player might always be lacking a little bit of knowledge, potentially opening theory, middle game principles, thematic ideas and the positions that they play, uh, even theoretical end games that they often get into. All this stuff is useful that could turn them into a better player. On the other hand, you have players who are a little bit too focused on the knowledge side of the game, uh, spending their time reading, watching videos, but not really doing a whole lot of active learning, but rather a lot of passive learning, kind of trying to digest ideas and learn as much as possible about the game. And obviously that's going to be really useful for your chess, but if you're not playing regularly and not trying to utilize what you're learning, it's going to be very, very difficult to actually incorporate that into your actual chess strength. So as you might guess, I, I think overall chess strength is really a mix of these two things, your knowledge and your skill. And if you're always spending your time working on one and not the other, that's clearly going to result in uh, you neglecting some, some serious parts of your game. So depending on what your level is, I think it does make sense to start with more of the knowledge aspect of the game and learn some typical opening ideas or typical middle game ideas, but it's just as important to start playing and try to utilize what you're learning. Because knowing is not really doing. You can study all the chess in the world, but if you don't practice incorporating it into your gameplay, if you don't practice actually sitting down and solving exercises and, and finding the right solutions, you're not really going to be able to train your brain to do this during a tournament game or when you're playing online. Now, there are also some practical differences in how you improve both of these parts of your game. When it comes to knowledge, like I mentioned, it really needs to be repeated. If you just look at an opening line one time, you're not really going to remember much of it when you actually sit down and play. And the th same thing for endgames. If you just look at some theoretical endgame one time, play through once, or just watch one video, if you don't really practice it, the next time you get it over the board, you're probably going to mess it up and, and not be able to execute it properly. So when it comes to knowledge, things that you kind of have to concretely know and remember, I think repetition is, is really key. You want to learn something once and then come back to it and repeat it a couple of times over the next few weeks. It's actually why I'm really just a big fan of Chessable because it allows you to repeat openings, repeat end games. Uh, a lot of players even use it for, for tactics and in other courses because it forces you to repeat the stuff that you're learning and that's 
that spaced repetition that, that really is what kind of grows retention, I think, in, in the long run. Then when it comes to improving your skill, I think it's first actually a matter of seeing instructive examples demonstrating, you know, here's how strong chess players treated these types of positions. But then of course you have to sit down and try to work out some exercises for yourself. Depending on your level, you should be trying to work on something that's kind of appropriate for you. Not too hard that it's impossible, but not too easy that it's way below your level and and you're not improving. In general, when it comes to working on your calculation and improving it, I, I feel like it functions very much like a muscle. If you train it regularly, it'll become stronger. If you neglect it and, and don't work it out at all, then over time the muscle will out atrophy and you'll kind of lose your ability to calculate. So regardless of your level, I think it's important to try to work on your chess skill consistently, working on your calculation, whether that means you're solving like simple checkmates and simple tactics, or you work all the way up to difficult calculation exercises. In general, I always recommend working around five, or at least five days per week, somewhere between 30 to 60 minutes per day, just depending on how much effort you're willing to put in. And if you do this consistently for a couple of weeks, I think most players will see a, a pretty uh, marked improvement in terms of their, their skill level and their ability to actually calculate. And at the very least, just by going through so many problems, you'll be introducing yourself to a lot of chess positions and building up your pattern recognition, if, if nothing else. The thing that really differentiates training your skill versus training your knowledge is the amount of effort that you usually have to push yourself uh, in order to improve your skill. Because watching a video is pretty is easy and it's not very difficult to do, it's not very challenging. Um, but having to sit there and think and solve a puzzle, this does tax your brain and I, I know a lot of players are going to be struggling with motivation and not always able to do that kind of training every day. But if you're generally motivated and dedicated to improving and you are able to spend this time and work on your calculation, well, you really have to try to push yourself to try and calculate a little bit further than you did the day before, or just trying to recalculate lines in order to slowly improve your visualization. I have a lot of videos on this channel about calculation and uh, I have some on visualization as well. So do make sure to search for those if you're interested about more information on those topics. In fact, if you want my full list of recommendations for different books and resources, um, based on your level and what you're trying to improve, I have a link to my recommendations uh, linked in the description to this video below. Of course, it's also really important to play. And I think there are some aspects of chess that aren't necessarily knowledge-based or skill-based, but can only come through actual playing and practical experience. So if you're someone who's doing a lot of reading and studying and you're solving a lot of puzzles and challenging yourself, you're definitely going to become a stronger player and a very balanced player overall. But if you're not playing, it's gonna be very hard for you to gauge whether you're actually making progress and whether you're going to be able to really utilize what you've been working on. And there are definitely some aspects to the game that again have maybe less to do with either knowledge or skill and more with just your experience. So things like time management, reading the opponent, uh, even things like setting traps where you really just need a lot of playing experience to kind of understand the situations where uh, it's important to spend time or where it's important to kind of speed up and, and play a little bit faster. And these are the practical aspects that are very hard to pick up unless you're actually sitting there yourself and playing and making decisions. And then of course, going over your games and reflecting on it. If you're someone who just plays a lot of blitz games and then never reviews those games, never really reflects on them, those blitz games might be slightly useful for you just in terms of the volume of the number of games you're playing and, and seeing different chess positions. Um, but they're not going to be nearly as useful for you as if you were to sit down and look through those games and, and try to understand some of the decisions you made and why that was wrong and how you can improve in the long run. Basically, no strong player ever got good without being bad first and improving by learning from their mistakes, making a lot of mistakes in their games, and then learning from them, improving from them, and ultimately becoming a strong player, uh, not based on how much they studied and uh, did tactics uh, in their study time, but also how much they played and how much they were able to learn from the mistakes that they made during those games. So long story short, 
Uh, try to have a balance when you're working on your chess. If you find that you're too far on one side of the spectrum that we kind of laid out in this video, I would definitely recommend uh, trying to slowly shift to the other side. So if you're doing a lot of tactics, maybe picking up a book or starting to work through a course might be exactly what you need. If you find that you've been doing a lot of reading and watching a lot of videos, not so much active learning, well then it's time for you to try to be a little bit more active in your studies and do a little bit more training for your skill. All right, guys, hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions on anything I mentioned, uh, do feel free to leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, do click like on it because it really helps me uh, know what type of things I should talk about more, what kinds of videos I should do in the future. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.